Wiesman Vitadens 200. My name's Alan Hart and today I'm doing a boiler service. I'm going out to a Wiesman Vitadens 200. What I'll do is um, I'm just going to do a video on give you an overview of the boiler. Um, this is supposed to be the daddy of all boilers. So some people say that this is the best boiler on the market. So what we'll do, we'll go and have a look at this boiler and if you could, please add some comments below and let me know what you think to the Wiesman Vitadens 200 range of boilers. And at the very end of this video, I'm gonna answer the questions that's been added in the community section regarding this boiler. This is the Wiesman Vitadens 200 combi boiler. It's the 35 kilowatt. What we'll do now, we'll take the case off and we'll have a look inside. First of all, we'll just have a quick look at the flue outside. Normally that would have a seal over that. My name's Alan Hart and today I'm gonna to do a review on the Wiesman 200. This is the new Wiesman 200 and it's got the touch screen display so we'll have a look at that as well. Please remember if you're going to work on a gas boiler you must be gas safe registered or competent to do so. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the power off, remove the fuse and I'm going to do my safe isolation checks. I'm then going to remove the front cover. If we have a look underneath the boiler there's just some slots here and they used to used to have screws in there but now it's just a clip you just push it up and then the front will lift forward and then you've got the same on this side as well just in there just look underneath these we've got the reset in there and the pressure gauge as well and if we have a look on this side We've got the on off button. If you're going to lift this front flap down, these red flaps lift down here, but you need to make sure that you shut them first, like that, and then you can pull these flaps down, like that. You can see that that's right down now. If, if that flap were open there, it won't push, won't push down enough and then when you do that the front flap will just lift down nice and easy so if we have a look uh, if we have a look at the pump it's a 1575 pump copper pipes inside um, copper pipes on gas should I say it's got its fan Stainless steel heat exchanger. We've still got rubber hoses in this one. I'm not a big fan of the rubber hoses, to be honest, but if you service it and maintain it correctly, then they should be fine. It's also got a 10 year warranty. If we look at the expansion vessel in this boiler, it's a 10 litre expansion vessel. And it's really easy to get on and work on. There's just a screw up there somewhere. There. And you can just lift that out nice and easy. It's got a shock arrestor built in on this boiler. So if we can see inside it's got plastic components. So when we look inside, as I say, it's got plastic components, but because it's got its own built-in shock arrestor, same as um, all the other Wiesman 100s and 050s and 200s, etc., all the Wiesman models, they all have that built-in shock arrestor. And what that means is that it doesn't have the issues with leaks like some other boilers have. So really good. 
it's got the PRV at the back. It's a little bit awkward to see, but it is very easy to change. There's loads of space, and there's a little clip at the back there, and, and you can just you can just take this PRV, blow off pressure relief um, pressure relief valve, whatever you want to call it. Just take it out nice and easy. This is a Wiesmann Vitadens 200W and it's a B2 KB 35 kilowatt. The touch display on this is really really nice. Uh, so what I'll do now, I'll just click into this and I'll just show you, show you a few of the options in there. One thing to point out on this, the password is VI service if you need to get into any settings we've got a touch screen display and we've got all the settings on here simple controls on there if we just click that one you can turn it on to standby mode you can put it onto hot water only so in summer you could click it onto hot water only Put it on hot water and heating, if you want heating on as well. Click OK. On the front here, you can set the temperature. What you want it to be. Shows you boiler temperature on there. Also shows you the outside temperature. This is on weather comp. It's got weather comp sensor outside. Don't want it on today, as I say, it's 20 degrees outside. We've also got an eco mode on this. Click on there, goes on to eco mode, go into settings. And go into heating and you can alter your curve in there so you've got your curve at the moment it's set on slope 3 I'll need to speak to the customer about this see if they're happy with this I didn't install this boiler time so you can go into times on this room temperature so you can set the temperature on there and then you've got a, a setback temperature there so that's like on a night time that you can set the set the temperature back you've got a test mode so this is when you want to do a service on it and you can put it into test mode I'm not going to click into that I'm not going to put that on just now but you can put it onto test mode settings in there so you can change language, which we don't want to do that. Brightness, so you can alter brightness on this display. Time and date, buzzer, and you can rename heating circuits and your factory settings as well. Domestic hot water, you can set the domestic hot water temperature in here. And if you change this temperature, you then just need to click on the tick you can set information outside temperature boiler temperature floor temperature flue gas temp burner burners off burner how hours so the number of hours the boiler's been running Fault messages, so you can put your central fault message, time, date on there, all your serial number, come back out of that, and then you can reset data, which we don't want to, we don't want to reset data. You can also put all your service details in there for, uh, for installer, installer details. 
That was just a really, really quick overview of the Wiesmann 200. Um, something to, to mention really is the modulation ratio on that boiler. I believe it's 17 to 1 modulation, which is really, really good. It means that it will the burner will go really low. So if you've got it on weather comp, it will save you money on your gas bills. So the boiler is a very, very advanced boiler compared to some of the other boilers on the market. Um, what do I think to it? I think it's an amazing boiler, to be honest. The touchscreen is, is really, really good. Um, the stainless steel, steel heat exchanger is good. It's got a 10 litre expansion vessel which is one of the best on the market. The pump, um, 1575, again, I believe that's one of the best on the market for a combi boiler. Um, yeah, I suppose the only downside for me, as, I, as I've said already, the rubber hoses, I'm not so keen on them. I will be looking after this boiler now for this customer and I will keep an eye on them hoses, maybe take them out and clean them out if need be. On a service so it's not going to be a problem for this customer also the customer has a 10-year parts and labor warranty with this boiler so they know that it's going to be reliable and if it's not then it'll be covered under warranty um, and that's it really thank you thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you've got any questions please ask them below if you've got any comments as well if you install Wiesmann, um, be really interested to see what your feedback is on these boilers. This was the first one of um, of this new model that I've been to. I've been to 200s before, but this is the newer model with the touchscreen. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. In the community section, I added a question: Wiesmann 200, do you like them? And these are some of the questions that we got. So we got 24 comments. And if we start with the top one here, Andrea, um, hi, last week I fitted new generation Wiesmann 200 combi with large LCD control panel. And you didn't like the connections, three quarter and half inch and you had to buy adapters also they're a bit far away from the wall and you had to offset every pipe Middlesbrough uh, 123 would be interested to know the cost of mixing valve setup for these I can't really help with that you'd have to speak to a rep and Joshua Turner comments best boiler on the market Yet when you recommend to a customer, they pull a face because they've never heard of the boilers. Brian Black comments, I've serviced quite a few Wiesmans over the years and I personally think they should move away from the sheet metal casings. Um, there's hardly a boiler that doesn't leak over time and they should move away from that because it could corrode. I know that a lot of the 100s, are, the bottoms are plastic. So if there were an issue with auto air vent leaked or something like that, then you wouldn't have a you wouldn't have an issue with the bottom corroding. I'm really sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um I mean, you're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Um I have never fitted a Wiesman boiler and I will be interested to see how you'll get on. Well please comment below and let me know. Let me know what you think to this video, Phil. I'm interested as a consumer. It's a good idea to keep up to date with the latest kit. Well, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, yeah, hope this video has been of some help to you. Time goes by, 12. Yes, but not the heat only. They never seem to get up to temperature. I've installed quite a few of the heat only um, Wiesmann 100 compacts and they've always been really, really reliable. I've not had no issues with them at all. But please tell us more in the comments below. Um, Steve 
Um, new into gas would be great. Um, yeah, maybe. We'll see. I need to save up and get some more money so I can do some more videos. Uh, I'm hoping to do the visa, uh, the um, Worcester 8000 soon as well. Um, that'll be my next video that I save up for. And then maybe we'll look at the Intergas as well. But it's all it's all to do with money and cost to do them. No more. Um, looks like all copper pipe work. Expansion vessel looks bigger. Uh, hopefully you've seen the video. Um, so it's a 10 litre expansion vessel. But it's got the rubber, still got the rubber hoses inside. So let me know below what you think to that. Do you have any intergas videos in the pipeline? Um, Sean, I will try my best, as I've said, um, but it's all to do with money. Big shout out to Tommy Tanswell. Please put a comment below to make sure that I know that you've seen me shout out. And last but not least, um, love you, my dear friend. Very nice pick. Thank you all for watching.